Hello everyone, it is time for an update on the Berkshire Productions Preservation Project. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true. Waiting there for you. It has been an incredibly long time since I've given you guys an update on the Berkshire Productions Preservation Project, a project that I started two years ago with the goal of preserving the Berkshire Productions Video Company, a company that was started by Grant Geist in 1984 that produced train videos for a number of years in the 1980s and the 1990s. A lot of exciting stuff has happened with the Berkshire Project, and it's finally time to give you guys an update. Without further ado, let's get started. Since I've last given you guys an update on this project, I've made a lot of acquisitions for my VHS collection. The new additions to my VHS collection include Trolley Treasure, Concours d'Elegance, The Majestic Mikado, Juniata's Jewel, Salt on Asheville, 2102 The American Northern, the Gettysburg Railroad, the Guayaquil and Quito Railroad, Steaman in the Valley, 8444 The Greyhound Legend, the Blue Mountain and Redding Railroad, the Ohio Central Railroad Living the Dream, Central American Rail Adventure Parts 1 and 2, Berea Interlocking A Modern Day Look at Berea Tower, the Contemporary Railroading Series Volume 1 Norfolk Southern's Pocahontas Division, the Contemporary Railroading Series Volume 2 The Bessemer and Lake Erie Railroad, the Contemporary Railroading Series Volume 3, Union Pacific's Feather River Canyon, the Knox and Kane Railroad Story, and Northwest Northern. And I want to take a moment to thank all of those who have contributed their copies of the shows to my collection to further push me to completion of a complete set of all of Grant's shows on VHS. With all of these new additions now part of the collection, there are only five shows that I'm missing at this point, and these shows are Steam Still Stands, Pear Market 1225, Home of the Classics, Johnson Manor Car Show, and Stinston's Tri-Motor Against She Flies. These five shows have eluded me up to this point and have yet to be able to purchase a copy. These five shows are the final ones I need to acquire for this collection to be complete. Two of these shows, Steam Still Stands and Pear Market 1225, I've been on the lookout for a long time and have yet to see a copy surface within my price range. The other three shows are non-train programs. Home of the Classics being about the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum, Johnson Manor Car Show being about the Johnson Manor Car Show, and Stinson's Trimotor Again She Flies being about an airplane, the Stinson Trimotor. Any assistance in locating these five shows that I've listed off is greatly appreciated. Alongside the VHS collection, I have been working to bring the shows back into distribution. Over the last two years, there has been a lot of exciting developments with that, and I'm excited to announce on this YouTube channel that after many years of work from multiple individuals all pitching in, the Berkshire Productions shows are now available once again for the first time in almost 30 years. Those interested in purchasing copies of the shows can go check out the Yard Goat Images web store where they are available for sale. I forgot to mention this when I was recording, but the Contemporary Railroading series is not available through Yard Goat. The Contemporary Railroading series is available for sale under Green Frog Productions and can be purchased on their website and eBay store. Links to purchase the Contemporary Railroading series will be in the description along with a link to the Yard Goat Images website as well. I want to take a moment here to thank all of the people who have worked over the last few years to get the Berkshire Productions shows back in distribution, especially John U. Claire and Rich Melvin, who have been working with me directly to bring these shows back to life. That is it for this update on the Berkshire Productions Preservation Project. There is more to come with this project, so stay tuned for future updates. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.